Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Grandstand here on 7 right through until 5 o'clock this afternoon and we have a very big day of racing with the big card at Mooney Valley. We're also covering races from Warwick Farm in Sydney, Morfordville in South Australia, Doombin up in Queensland and also provincial racing here in Victoria at Mornington. So we have a tremendous day in front of us with uh, races from all over the place and hopefully lots of winners between now and 5 o'clock. And they're just about ready, set and they're racing. Duke Shannon didn't begin all that quickly. Red William away fast with a Rama Dancer least and going up quickly. Swift invite in that leading group with Dusky Amazon, Jew Dior, Mr Magnum. Then True Glamour and four lengths away, Vice Idiom dropping out to the rear. After travelling 300 metres, least and in front a half length to Swift invite. A Rama Dancer moves up to third, then Jew Dior, Mr Magnum. They were followed moving through in the centre now by Red William going up towards the lead, Duke Shannon. A length away, young Chloe Dusky Amazon, True Glamour and three lengths to Vice Idiom at the Rear. Working down the side, 800 metres to go. Leaston leads a half length to Swift Invite. A length and a half, Judy Orr moving up to third. A Rama Dancer the inside, then Duke Shannon, followed by Mr Magnum. A length to young Chloe starting to run on, followed by Red William, True Glamour, Dusky Amazon, and Vice Idiom drops out to the rear. 500 metres out, the run's coming. Leaston joined on the outside by Swift, uh, moving up Swift Invite. A Rama Dancer three wide and four wide, Judy Orr and four lengths to young Chloe running on. Then Red William, they turn the corner. Plenty of chances. A Rama Dancer goes to the front. Joined by Judy Oran, two lengths away. Young Chloe. Judy Ora, Rama Dancer, two lengths in front of Young Chloe. Settle down to fight it out. A Rama Dancer, Judy Ora, the 100 metre mark. Judy Ora head in front. A Rama Dancer kicking. A Rama Dancer doing better. And A Rama Dancer's one in a punishing finish ahead over Judy Ora, second. Two away, third was Young Chloe, followed by Dusky Amazon. Further back to Red William. Next was Vice Idiom, Swift Invite, True Glamour, Mr. Magnum, followed by Leaston and Duke Shannon and dropped out to run last. Numbers as called by Rob Tester in the first event, 1, 2 and 12. Number 1, Arama Dancer to pay about $2.50 on the Victorian Toad. It'll be a photo, but Arama Dancer, number 1, has just beaten number 2, Dew Door, and third, number 12, Young Chloe, 1, 2 and 12 in the first at Mornington. Now, the second set, they're racing. Near the inside, Mahina dwelt slightly, missed it by a length or so. Willan didn't begin all that well, but he's showing sufficient speed to go up into a prominent position early. Glowing Gold is showing any amount of dash from out wide. In fact, she's coming across the face of the field and she's going to lead them. She's come from near the outside to lead them pretty easily. Glowing Gold, two lengths in front. Mahina second, Roman Rom third, one to Willand on the inside, and then Barrel and Boy and a Bozza, followed by Put It Together, and then Nor Band and Osmunda Boy, Rama Rebel and Senor Gron. Mr. Shaw is back worse than midfield on the inside of Star Dark. It's an old hippie who's trapped out fairly deep. A length then to Matfield Road and then Planet Ruler. Bull Boris is a long way back and Good Home is last. Coming down the side, 6.50 metres to go. Glowing goal, three quarters in front. Second, Raymond Ron, third, Mahina, then Barrel and Boy, Willand, put it together. Rabozza, one drop back very quickly there. Mr Shaw ran into trouble. Passed by Norband, Osmunda Boy, Rama, Rebel, Senor Grand, and then Matfield Road, old hippie, Planet Ruler. Good Home still a long way back with Star Darts. And Bull Boris is last around the turn, 3.50 metres to go. Glowing goal just in front. Here comes the favourite. Here comes Willand on the outside. And look at him go. He raced straight past them. He's gone to the lead, Willand. 200 metres out. Willand nicely cleared. Two in front of a bowser. In third place, Roman Romp. And then Norband making up ground. But it's Willand in front. 100 metres out. And the good thing's home. Willand goes to the post. Wins it by two lengths. A bowser second. Four lengths away. Third was Roman Romp. And then Rama Rebel. Put it together. Norband, Senor Grand and Mahina. But it in by Mr. Shaw, Planet Ruler, then Osmunda Boy, Bowl Boris, Matfield Road. The next one in was old hippie Barrel and Boy, Glowing Girl Stop, Good Home back towards the rear, and Stardust, one of the last to uh, greet the judge. Numbers has called by Wayne, 1, 3, and 15 on the first event. Will Ann, number one, the favourite home, second, number three, a Bozza, and third was number 15, Roman Romp, 1, 3, and 15 after the running of the first event in Doombin, and that's up in Queensland. And they're racing. And uh, one very slow to begin there was Solo Bid, lost about two or three lengths. Down the line back to second last. They went over the first obstacle now. 
and they're starting to sort themselves out. Sir Pike's being eased in behind them. He's trying not to lead on the top way today. Pike's Lane led over the uh, second jump, about three parts of a length to all. Prince Sir Pike's gone up to third. A length away then the hiker and uh, getting up on the inside of them, mine them. The grey's gone up into about uh, fourth or fifth position as they swing around this first corner now. Then came the rank outsider uh, behind those horses, Charlie Price, and down the line second last, solo bid last. Here's the double uh, down by the school the first time. All Prince the outside got a half length to Pike's Lane, two lengths to Sir Pike, a length and a half mine now. They're out eight lengths to the hiker as they come to the second of this double now. And uh, the leaders are over it safely. About six or eight lengths further back, Charlie's price. Solo bid second last, and uh, last of all, as they swung to the corner, is down the line. Coming to the turn now, they'll have the wind behind them for a little way here. And on the outside now, all Prince and Pike's Lane together. About three lengths to Sir Pike, two to mine now, and then about eight lengths to the hiker, followed further back in the field by Charlie's price. Solo bid and down the line to the outside. Over the one in the straight now. The jumping's pretty good, although my Nam got into that a little bit. And all prints the outside and kind of hang a fraction and neck in front of uh, Pike Lane past the judge. Five links to Sir Pike travelling well. Six to my Nam, the grey being urged along now. And about six further back then came the hiker. Next is Solo Bid getting up on its inside. Three away Charlie's price and down the line not going well. Down the hill, the double at the 14. Solo Bid and Pike's Lane together, about three lengths to Sir Pike. Oh, uh, so All Prince got into that. Sir Pike's travelled beautifully behind the leaders to the second of this double. All Prince led, but he's hanging out badly. And Sir Pike has jumped beautifully and has gone up second. All Prince is the leader. Pike's Lane now second, about a neck to Sir Pike. And they're out 10 or 15 lengths now to Solo Bid, the hiker, followed by my name, Charlie's price down the line. Back where they started, 1,200 to go, and All Prince was the leader. He's out a couple of lengths or three lengths now in front of Pike's Lane and a half to Sir Pike as they go to the double down the back. Uh, about ten lengths away the hiker and uh, with his solo bid, forget the others. As they go around the 900 corner, All Prince about three or four lengths in front. Sir Pike has joined Pike's Lane. They're about five or six lengths to the hiker who's running on fairly well in fourth place from solo bid under the whip. Here's the double by the school again. All Prince about four lengths in front as he draws to this one. He's hit it, got over to Bowers. Pike's Lane has gone. Pike's Lane went and one went over the top of him solo bid. And at the second last, All Prince is five lengths in front and going like a winner from Sir Pike as he went through that one. Five lengths away the hiker and ten lengths away Charlie's price. And uh, down the line, the only other one who's still on its feet. My name's been pulled up but around the turn and All Prince Ah, uh, by gee, he's finding everything today. And he's about eight lengths in front around the corner from Sir Pike, who's pretty tired the top weight, then the hiker, two lengths away and six lengths to Charlie's price. But here's the last. All Prince draws to it with a lead of about ten lengths. Here he comes to it now. He's over it safely. Sir Pike over it, and so too is the hiker, and that's how they'll finish. And All Prince down to the line, won it by uh, all eight, nine lengths to Sir Pike, three to the hiker third, eight lengths away Charlie's price, and the only other one to finish is uh, down the line. Just having a look around, uh, uh, my name's uh, been pulled up, and those other riders seem to be OK who are involved in the four. Pike's Lane going first when it looked at least a, a place getter was certainly going to run a place in it. Well, All Prince. And they're off in the first of the day. A pretty good start too. And Kamer Allen at the end of a hundred straight to the lead from Sophisticate. Sales Force in third place up looking for the front spot now. Under length the Prince Wetan Garuna. Total control O'Driscoll. Harbrook is the deepest runner second last. And Car Eaton drops out to last. As they travel 400 metres and the pilot is now Sales Force by a length and a half to two lengths on Kamer Allen. Sophisticate third on the inner side. And then O'Driscoll. One Prince Wetan. A length further back Garuna who's three and four deep. Harbrook is right out off the track, followed by Total Control, and last of all is Caritan. Sales Force, a handy pilot running around the back bend at the 1,000 metres. The break it has on Kamer Allen is about four lengths. Two and a half sophisticate, a length O'Driscoll niggled at, one and a half in Garuna. At hips girth on the inside is Prince Wattan, ridden along, followed by Caritan, and second last being Harbrook, and absolute Total Control. Past the 800 they go, and Sales Force, a length and a half on Kamer Allen. Sophisticates travel nicely 
were in the run and two and a half then coming Garuna picking up some ground now and it's being tagged forward by Caridon now pulling around Garuna's heels. A length O'Driscoll and about three to Prince Watan not travelling well, a long margin total control and Harbrook is last of all. Up to the bend they run and sales four shows the way. Caridon continuing to gain ground very quickly, races to second. A length sophisticate third and a length Garuna struggling followed at the head of the others by Kamer Allen but Caridon shot away inside the 200 and you can put down the glasses because this is going to win by a space. Second is Garuna, good go for third. Kamer Allen battles on and running off the track O'Driscoll but Caridon from Canberra wins with a leg in the air. Caridon's about six lengths clear on the line from Garuna. Third O'Driscoll, fourth Kamer Allen. Further back sales for sophisticate Prince Wittan, total control and last was Harbrook. We all know. The winner, All Prince, $3.80 a win, 95 cents for the place. Second, Sir Pike, 65 cents. Third, The Hiker, $2.10. Quinella, $5.40. Trifecta, $183.85. All right, that's the scene after the running of the first event. Scramble out of the stalls. They're ready and they're racing. Dashing show a bit slow. Dupar Shining Tower didn't show any speed out and Subsonic leads the way from World Bank and Viva La Vu. Castellata's going up very quickly. Dashing Show is also going up there in a hurry as they settle down with Galox and moving through Himalaya. In midfield, Sempre Bella followed by Windfall Lass. Castellata getting back from Shining Tower. Well back as Monarchy Dancer and two or three to Dupar at the rear. On settling down, Himalaya leads a length and a half. Second, Viva La Vue, a half to Galox moving to third. About two lengths away, Subsonic over on the inside of Dashing Show and two further back to World Bank. They're followed by Galox, doubling their Sempre Bella, Shining Tower. Tower, the inside of Castellad Monarchy Dancer and eight lengths to Dupar at the rear. Along the side, 5.50 to go. Himalaya leads the way a length to Viva La Vue. Galox is making ground quickly on the outside and two lengths to Dashing Show Subsonic. Four lengths away, World Bank followed at the head of the rest by Windfall Ash Shining Tower. Next is Castellad Monarchy Dancer, Sempre Bella, Dupar. They turn almost three in line. Himalaya joined by Viva La Vue. Subsonic getting a run in the centre. The widest runner, Galox and Dashing Show five wide, but Subsonic bursts to the front of the 200 metre mark, got a neck clear of Himalaya, two or three away was Galox and Viva La Vue, but Subsonic starting to draw away, and Subsonic wins a half length to Himalaya, uh, very tight for third, two or three lengths away on the outside, dashing show and Galox nearer the fence, they're followed by Castellat and further back to World Bank here is a new and exciting... Already in the racing at the first attempt. Corny a little slow out. Oh, there's one stood there. Lappy Lad. He stayed in the gates and missed it eight lengths or so and away quickly. Handy money. Going fast in the early part. Peace token. Runaway Dream and Eagle's Image and driving through from the inside barrier French border. Close handy Pearl Cheval. Grand Ray Gil. Good girl. White and Ben's Dollar next. They were followed by Loyal Guard and a smother up Silver City Boy on the inside of Kuiper Token. Further back in the field then came Silbert passing it but White Corny with on the crest and then Anna Ray taking off from well back. They were followed further back, third last Lappy Lad. He's caught the field. He's passed two. They're Darjeeling Prince and Prince Alderney as they work along the far side and go past the 1200 point. They're starting to string right out now. And Eagle's Image on top, a length and a half, almost two lengths. Gil Good Girl, Priest Token. Runaway Dream between horses. On his outside is, Dar is Grand Ray. Then further back came Ben's Dollar with Handy Money. French Border there on the rail inside of them. They were followed next by Pearl Cheval and Loyal Guard joining in and so too. Anna Ray, but deep throughout. Then Corny followed one away by Lappy Lad, who's done well to be where he is after missing it hopelessly. Next, Copper Topin struggling, and then came on the crest, sneaking around it. They were followed back on the inside, running next by Silver City Boy. About two to Silbert, Darjeeling Prince, and three away now is Prince Alderney. On the turn at the 600 metre point, shortly to run into the straight, and the leader kicks Eagle's image. He gets away on it. Anna Ray went via the Cape, six deep as they're about to swing. Peace Token goes to second. Back behind them, Gil, good girl, loyal guards got up on the rail and Anna Ray's right out in no man's land. Homeward bound, peace token, joining Eagle's image. They've kicked three or four in front of Anna Ray down the outside on her own. Still running on pretty well, but under the whip and then Darjeeling Prince Corny running on and loyal guard. Peace token, the leader, Anna Ray is the danger still, despite covering more ground than anything in the race, but peace token, after taking the shortcut, is clear. Anna Ray tries to get to peace token, can't do so. Peace token gets home a half length. Anna Ray should have won and should have won easily. Third corny, Eagle's Image on the crest, French border. Darjeeling Prince followed by Silver City Boy, Loyal Guard. In that division further back came Copper Token, Runaway Dream, then Silbird, Pearl Cheval. Gil Good Girl followed by Grand Ray, Handy Money. Well back then, Lappy Lad and then Darge uh, further back Prince Alderney and Ben's Donner Absolute.
Lady Salisbury began smartly near the inside. La Surya is going fast and westerly wind is showing plenty of speed going up to go to the lead. Free Roman began very quickly. Is going to settle fourth. He's trapped three wide at the moment. One to a lead early. Princely Carrot is next. He's out fairly deep and there goes Zavada Light right around the field. Just Aussie next on the inside. Schwano's caught out very wide. Getting back a Vantam and Champagne Jim is last. Heading down the side. Plenty of speed on. Plenty of pressure on. Westerly wind the outside. A touch in front of Lady Salisbury and there goes Schwano. He's going up three deep to join those leaders. Free Roman getting a lovely run. He's a length away. Fourth but a little bit wide on the outside of La Suri. Over on the inside, Just Aussie won to Zavada Light. Princely Current then Champagne Jimmer lead Earl and Avantam's last of all into the straight. Schwano raced away from them. He's booted. He's kicked about three or four lengths in front of Lady Salisbury. Free Roman pulled to the outside starting to make up ground and then La Suri and Champagne Jim. Can Schwano keep going? 150 metres to go. He's feeling the pinch a little bit now. Champagne Jim is making ground on the outside, but I think the post is going to be close enough for Schwano. Schwano's in front, yes, he's too strong for Champagne Jim. Schwano first, Champagne Jim second. Just Aussie may have got third. Fourth was La Suri, followed in by Princely Curran, Free Raymond of Vantam, then Westerly Wendell, Lead Earl, Zavada Light, and Lady Salisbury weekend to finish last. Wayne sees them 2 10 11 in the second. Number two, Schwano, the winner, holding on to beat 10 Champagne Jim and possibly number 11, Just Aussie, in a photo for third. 2 10 and 11. They're racing and they've jumped away pretty well. Worthy Kingdom was one of the first to get going from Lord Tiamo, who got away well at Roden Raj, going fast from Rancho Ruler, moving up third. Now Garrison on the rails, fourth. Worthy Kingdom just led Roden Raj, settling down a length further back. Roden Raj taking over now, length to Rancho Ruler. Then followed Garrison, fourth, and they were followed by Disputed, who's next, and then Magari's image around them. Roden Raj going like the wind, then Lonely Dreamer. Dimas is further back in the field, and then came Ealing Park. Brock's bomber, bomber a mile out of it, Lord Tiamo. And uh, a couple of them tailed right off. Up by the 600 metres, Roden Raj a length now to Rancho Ruler, who's second. Magari's image third, the outside. Garrison off the fence from Worthy Kingdom, and then came Dimas. Lord Tiama making a little ground about eight. Bronx Bombers not in it. Coming up to the turn now, Rancho Ruler tackling Roden Raj on the top weights. Put his head in front from Magari's image out three deep on the track, and then Garrison. But Rancho Ruler sprinted away. On the corner, he's a length and a half in front from Magari's image, and then Roden Raj into the straight, hands and heels in the top weight Rancho Rulers putting a space in them now he's home two lengths in front of Magari's image Roden Raj struggling on from Garrison and out wide Dimas but oh Rancho Rulers won by um, oh I suppose three or four lengths to Magari's image Dimas got up for third I think from Roden Raj they were followed by Garrison Bronx Bomber made up some ground looked big ran like it they're followed further back in the field by disputed Lord Tiamo lonely dreamer long gap uh, further back in the field then uh, Oh, let's see as they come in here. It would be Klondike as well back with Ealing Park, Worthing Kingdom and Exchequer. Class above them, Rancher. Three dollars sixty and ninety-five cents. Second Garuna, sixty cents, and third O'Driscoll, three dollars seventy. The Quinella paid three dollars eighty-five, and the Trifecta two hundred and seventeen dollars even. Oh. All there. Racing this time, Minuetto Rouge on the outside was actually best to begin. Snowtastic away reasonably well, and so was Appreciation, followed by Nickel Silver. Making ground as Patty's meant, and then comes on the inside without reason. A bit more than a length away next on the outside, making up a little ground is Lobby. In company there with uh, Counterfeit Coin, and Gypsy Reward getting out of a ground, and the same can be said for Royal Paget. As they gallop past the 1,000 metres, and Minuetto Rouge is the leader, getting up on the inside to be a handy second as Nickel Silver. Two to Snowtastic, three deep in the centre is Appreciation without reason on the inside and then comes Patty's Mint on the inside of Royal Padger, then Kate Charlotte three wide, a length further back comes Lobby. Over on the inside rail is Counterfeit Coin from Gypsy Reward and Absolute I accept at the 600. Minuetto Rouge leads out by three quarters of a length on Nickel Silver, one third is Appreciation. Snowtastic the outside, then without reason Lobby making some ground and further back in the field comes Gypsy Reward, Patty's Mint and then Kate Charlotte and I accept or Gypsy Reward again starts to drop the bit and second last is Counterfeit Coin. Now as they straighten up, Minuetto Rouge being tackled by the Canberra Horse Lobby. Snowtastic a half length between them and then a length gap to Appreciation and Kate Charlotte runs on. Inside the 200 and Lobby's taken the lead. Kate Charlotte second. Snowtastic on the inside. Lobby is just in front. Coming at it, Snowtastic but Lobby is hanging on for grim death and Lobby will win. Lobby's won from Snowtastic, I accept and Kate 
Tate Charlotte, then Cowberfeet Coin, Gypsy Reward right on their heels. Further back, Minuetto Ruse, Royal Pageant Appreciation, Patty Smith, Nickel Silver was second last and without reason was last. The mega place two Rancho Ruler number one paid a dollar for the win, sixty a place. Second was Megari's image, two dollars twenty, and third Dimas, nine dollars. The Quinella paid thirteen dollars fifty, and the trifecta was six hundred and twelve dollars and fifty five cents. Now, previous event at Mornington, race two went to number six Subsonic, one dollar sixty and seventy. Second number three Himalaya, one dollar fifteen. Third number one Dashing Snow, or Dashing Show, as I should say. I don't think I should have tried to, though. 90 cents. The Quinella paid $5.85 and the trifecta $50.60. Now, Mornington, and they're moving into the stores. Number 11, Danaggio. A field of 10, they're all set. Racing. Good start. Triptyque came out quickly, dropping to the rear amber land. Triptyque out looking for the lead from Mac Green on the inside, then Highland Soldier, Ice Cap, Cromedy's image, Cromedy laid Chevelle for lot. Folkfeld is the widest runner. Craigie Rose pulling at second last and last is Amber Land. Running onto the first corner and moving up very deep. Chevelle Vallot looking for the lead with Triptyque on the rail. Ice Cap a length away running third. Folkfeld's five wide into that corner. Four wide Cromedy's image. They're followed by Highland Soldier. Mac Green on the fence and there's no speed on. A length away Cromedy Lad. A length Craigie Rose settling and a length to Amber Land at the rear. 14.50 out. Chevelle Vallot leads the way. A length and a quarter. Triptyque second on the inside of Ice Cap. A a length and a half away, Cromedy's image pulling on the outside of Mac Green. A length to Highland Soldier, Cromedy led the fence. A half away, Folk felt the outside, Craigie Rose second to last, and on the fence, Amber Land at the rear. Running towards the back, and the leader as they reach almost the halfway point is Chevelle Vallant by two lengths. Moving up to second, Ice Cap, and a length away, Triptyque third. Then Cromedy's image, who's pulling for dear life, fourth on the outside of Mac Green. A length and a half, Highland Soldier, Cromedy lad. They're followed by Folk felt Amber Land, and Craigie Rose at the rear, but no more than eight lengths off the lead along the back inside the thousand meter mark and ice cap has moved up to join chevelle volant they're a length and a half in front of cromedy's image and highland soldier out three wide they're followed by triptyque on the inside and a length away was mac green followed by cromedy lad next on the outside making up some ground as amber land a length and a half craigie rose and folk has dropped out to the rear leaving the back 700 meters out and ice cap takes the lead chevelle volant kicks up on the fence and cromedy's image third they were followed by triptyque coming off the rail amber land starts to make a run from Mac Green. Then Cromedy Lad Amberland, three to Craigie Rose and Folk Velt, 500 metres out. And Ice Cap the leader by two. Chevelle Vallant on the inside, kicking back, followed by Triptyque and Cromedy's image. There followed by Cromedy Lad and Mac Green. Ice Cap's gone for home on the corner. Oh, there's one down. One's fallen back in the field. There's a couple down. Cromedy Lad's come down. Folk Velt's fallen. 150 metres out, the leader Ice Cap. Triptyque coming after it. Then Chevelle Vallant, Triptyque ducking about a bit, trying to pick up Ice Cap. Triptyque and Ice Cap. Cap, Ice Cap in front, Triptyque lunging and Triptyque's got there. Triptyque in the very last bound has won by a breath over second placing Ice Cap. Now Cromedy Lads wound up third. They're followed by Chevelle Volant, Craigie Rose, followed by Amberland. Next to pull up Highland Soldier, Mac Green. And a shocking fall up here on the corner. Folkveld's come down and Cromedy's image was... Enjoy delicious fried food. It's number three. It's got black and red colours. Running about fourth at the moment, and you'll see it dips and down it goes, and the jockey appeared to be rolled on by the horse, and uh, one of the following horses in Folkveld couldn't possibly avoid it, and over it goes, and the boy there also had a very heavy tumble. You can see the rider of Cromedy's image. We believe it might have been R. Dines, the rider, crawling underneath the running rail, but uh, we'll have a report on those riders and horses as soon as we One went to Peace Token, 13.55 and 2.40. Anna Ray paid 90, Corny $2.90, the Quinella $27.95, Trifecta $2,506.95. There's the scene in Adelaide as they move up for the running of the second event there. Weights right in Sydney on race two, 9, 7, 12, correct weight on the second at Sydney. Here's Ron Paps at Adelaide. He's a little slow out with Way and Rock, but by design, angling looking for room over near the rail in the early part. Mighty Daring finds the rail going out of the straight from Diamond Zone, and here's a bolter, throw the rock, taking caution to the wind and goes off around the outside to put the pace on, so they've got a pacemaker, and it's throw the rock, going out a length and a half to two in front of Mighty Daring inside Diamond Zone, who now shades it. About a length and a half away, come to Perth on the inside of Little Asia Anchor, then further back, Mistulation with 
with Wismo. They were followed by Geezer and Way and Rock is last of all. Well, the rocks are first and last. It's Throw the Rock showing the way over the crossing at the 1800, a length in front of Diamond Zone, and Way and Rock, the other rock, is last. Into third spot inside Azuranka, Mighty Daring with the run of the race. Two lengths to come to Perth. He's trying to balance it. A length away, poised behind him now, a length and a half back with Mistulation is inside as the favourite Wismo. Two lengths then to Geezer and nearly three away to Way and Rock as they slip along the back of the course, throw the rock on top a half three quarters. Diamond Zone second, two lengths away, Azure Anchor. Next on the inside, Mighty Daring. He's had a nice tidy run. About a length and a half poised behind him, come to Perth, sneaking up to his weather, and then came Wismo. Back on the inside, Mistulation, a length and a half to Geezer and a length and a half to throw to uh, Way and Rock at the tail. Throw the rock at the other extreme is the leader, though, as they work down the side of the 1200 now. By a long neck in advance of Diamond Zone, two lengths to Azure Anchor. Mighty Daring still poised fourth with come to Perth around him, increasing the tempo slightly. Two lengths further back as they go to the 1,000 metre mark, Mistulation ridden along. Wismo giving them about six lengths. Then Geezer, and last of all now is Way and Rock. Down the side they race, and Diamond Zone has a crack at the leader, Throw the Rock. Two or three lengths further back, Asia Ranker, passed by Come to Perth. Mighty Daring in a pocket. Wismo going up to them quickly. Two lengths, hard ridden Mistulation. Geezer one away, and two away to Way and Rock, racing towards the home turn to the 600 point, and the leader, Diamond Zone, found two lengths to spare. Throw the Rock struggling second, joined by Come to Perth and Wismo going up quickly. Asia Ranker, Mighty Daring looking for room and further back, Mistulation, but he's feverishly hard ridden. Geezer going up with him and three lengths to Old Way and Rock home at bound. Wismo out after the leader, Diamond Zone, who led and kicked two in front, but he's starting to feel for it. Wismo looks to be travelling better. Mighty Daring hooks out very wide into the clear. He's some sort of a threat and Geezer's made ground. Little Asia Ranker still there. Wismo goes to the lead, but Mighty Daring's claiming him quickly. Mighty Daring swoops on Wismo close to home. Mighty Daring picks up Wismo, who fights back, but he can't answer the challenge from Mighty Daring, and some good wages at good odds landed here. Mighty Daring wins from Wismo. Geezer, I think, third ahead of Asia Ranker. Diamond Zone, Mistulation. Then came Way and Rock, or come to Perth, a shocker. And last in was uh, Throw the Rock.